What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So this video has been a long time coming. As you can see, Pop! OS is in front of us. We are using VMware, of course. And I'm just going to move myself over just a little bit more. So this is what it comes as when you install it. This is pretty much default. And we're going to customize it to look better, to work better, oh, hopefully. Uh, opinions may differ, but people have been asking for a sequel to this video for quite a while, so let's give them one. Now, uh, difference, we're recording in H.265, and we're, we're using a lower bitrate, and I'm probably not going to notice because H.265 is a godsend. First, we're going to go to Desktop, Appearance, and we're going to stick with Dark. As for the Dock, we're going to... Aha, boom, that's what we want, just that. Now that that's done, workspaces. I want to turn you off. I don't want you guys to be visible because y'all are ugly. There it is, get rid of you. Applications button is normal. We're gonna be replacing that anyway. Uh, the first thing we need to do is go to grab extension manager, which I believe, does this have flat packs? Extension. Manager, there it is. So we're going to install the extension manager. This is a new application that allows you to download GNOME extensions without pretty much going into a browser. Ooh, it's such a good application. You're going to love it. And we're going to make sure that we have the tweak tool as well. So we're going to install both of those things. Now, good. That has been installed. And there we got updates, got extensions. We're going to make sure... Oh, there we go. It's opened. It's done. So now we're going to open it up. So you can see before you, it has everything you need, including X11 gestures, which I don't know. No, they don't actually work. Uh, the Ubuntu indicators, honestly, they're ugly, so we're going to pretty much turn them off. Okay, they're dead weight. We don't need dash to dock. We already have a dock here installed, so we're going to install user themes. So this is in case you want to change your user theme. We are going to install extension list. This will give you control over all your extensions from your desktop. And if you do notice, you have no way of controlling which sound output you're using. So we're going to add that as well. Where are you, my friend? Aha, it's not there. So head to the top. First thing we're going to grab is sound. And we're going to use the sound input and output device chooser. Audio mixer. So this is a new one for me. Um, it's an audio mixer. I think it's this one. I'm not sure which one I actually use, but we're going to try this one. Yes, this is, this is actually the one. This is application volume mixer. What it does is it puts the ability to control all your audio uh, within this simple menu right here. Then the next thing we're going to go and grab is just perfection. Just perfection is used to customize every single part of your OS. And we're going to grab arc menu as well. Yeah, Arc Menu sometimes has a problem where it needs uh, certain dependencies to actually work. So we have to go grab those dependencies. Working, traditional, yada, yada, yada. Thanks for the info. So how do we go grab those dependencies? Well, it's kind of simple. If Firefox would not take 6 million years to open, even Edge is instant. Arc Menu GitLab. So we're going to head to its default GitLab, which is Arc Menu. And I believe this might be the one. Yeah, so this is the new one. And since we are in a VM, everything's quite laggy. It's kind of annoying. So we're going to click these dependencies. And we're basically going to just install these two things. So uh, sudo apt. It's been a while since I've used garbage old apps, but you have to. And we need to also grab no menus. Enter your password, hit yes to agree to everything. And knowing that we're not in Wayland, 
you can just hit Alt F2 to restart your desktop. So it reboots the GNOME shell. And as you can see, we have the menu. So now we're going to go into settings again because we do have to disable uh, this application launcher. Unless you want to keep it, you can keep it. If not, if you want to use Arc menu, it's there. So desktop options, I'm going to get rid of that. So far, this is looking much better than it used to. And we're going to go open up Extensions Manager once again. And everything takes so long on this darn distro. It's, it's a bit annoying. We're going to grab Blurmy. What? Really? Ah, Blur My Shell. There it is. Boom. Now, as you can see, you've got some side effects down here in the bottom. And to deal with that, we need to turn the brightness up. So when we head over to Dash, you're going to turn on custom properties. And this controls the amount of blurry that you have. So no blur, blur, no blur, blur, right? We're going to go with 140 for brightness. We're going to crank it till it blends in. Now, if you don't want no blur, turn this off. If you do want some blur to make it look a little bit fancy, minus the issues, you can. And once again, if you don't want none at all, you can do that. But I want a little bit of blur. And I also want to go to the panel, and we want to customize the brightness here, because I just want to crank that to make that look real good. You know, give it a nice, good, blurry look. You can also change the color if you want to. Now, we're going to go here. And we're going to go to Just Perfection, which is right there. The app does change a bit, but we're going to go to Visibility. And we're going to turn off App Menu. Even though it's already off, we're going to go to Customize. Um, we need to deal with the... This should be 3, this should be 0. Okay. Block Menu Position, right. Set that to uh, 8. And you can install any icon theme you want. You can install uh, any theme that you want. Because if you're not a fan of this, honestly, I don't really know anybody in the right mind who is, uh, we can once again open the Firefox browser, even though it's crap in itself. We're not dropping any frames good. And we can go to White Sir GitHub. Now, this is a theme that I always choose. You can choose whatever you want. We're going to copy up here. We're going to open this up. We're going to do git clone. Control shift V. And it's going to take a second here. We're going to CD capital W white sir. Then we're going to do slash install sh. It's going to ask for a password. It's going to install everything it needs by grabbing dependencies and such. And once it's finished, we open up Tweak Tool. And we're able to change the theme through Tweak Tool. See? All done. Close this out. Open up Tweaks. And we're going to go to Appearance. We're going to leave the icon theme as it is. We're going to go to Shell. Change that to Dark. And legacy dark. Wow, it actually did not do a thing. Unless I need to close these windows out. Close. They made it so you can't override your themes. How annoying. That's new to me. So we're stuck with this nastiness? That's not good. Maybe it's just stuck. Let's try Alt F2 again and just restart the desktop. All right, and open this up. Ah, there we go. Now it's changed. So you have to log in and log out now, it seems. All right, uh, the last thing we need to fix is, of course, going to tweaks and dealing with uh, this. Left and shows all three this time so that is your overall appearance i mean the time's gone again 
which is annoying, which means that on did our little tweak for the time. Not happy about that. See, every iteration I find that gnome or uh, not gnome, sorry. There we go, that fixed. I find that Pop OS gets a little more broken. And it hurts me a little, but it's the distro that people go to. But here's the thing. How about instead you go to Nabor OS? The link will be in the description for that distro. You can find it. And once again, everything that we used is right here. Arc menu, blur my shell, uh, extensions list, just perfection. And we also used user themes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. You guys wanted this video, so there it is. If you want to grab your own desktop background, put it here. You can. It's up to you. I honestly don't feel like changing it. Actually, I do. Give me a sec. Let me see what they have. Maybe they added something new. Hmm. To be cliche or not to be cliche. Yeah, to be cliche. Oh. Anyway, bye, guys.